Paul McCartney sang The Beatles Yesterday for a well-known artist from the 1960s. By accident, he appeared to be offering the music to her. Still, the song was covered by the 1960s star. Her rendition sounds surprisingly upbeat. In the 1997 book, Paul McCartney. Many years from now, Paul claimed that after penning yesterday, he visited the residence of a well-known vocalist. He couldn't quite place it, but he was concerned that the music sounded too much like an older tune. I went to Alma Cogan's apartment in Kensington and inquired about the song's name because Alma had a slight musical bent. I find many individuals who share that quality and greatly respect them, Paul recounted. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful, observed Alma, who was somewhat sentimental and well-versed in Cole Porter, Jerome Kern, and other similar music. During the exchange, there were a few misunderstandings. Paul remarked, I later realized that she thought I was trying to give it to her because if you do that as a composer, by extension you're offering her the song just because she's a singer. I believe there was a brief moment of uncertainty because the protocol is almost, I'm writing this for you. However, I didn't perceive it that way at all. I was merely testing it to see if someone with her level of familiarity with the classics could identify it, which was a perfectly pragmatic rationale. Still, Kogan performed the song live. Her rendition, which is different from the original, can be found on the album Alma. Compared to the Beatles' rendition of the song, it has more musical bombast because a full orchestra is behind it. Its majestic soundtrack has an instrumental quality that makes it sound like it was composed by David Lean or Cecil B. DeMille. Strangely, her performance of the song sounds victorious. Although it's a unique interpretation of a classic, the words don't really suit. The cover, at least, showcases Kogan's inventiveness. One of the Beatles' most well-known songs is Yesterday. Paul has often discussed his original concern that it sounded too similar to another tune. Someone would have noticed by now if it was derivative. Ultimately, the song has been well known for about 60 years. A 1980 interview with John Lennon and Yoko Ono may be found in the book, All We Are Saying, the last major interview. John claimed in it that Paul's initial effort at creating Yesterday was And I Love Her by The Beatles. Maybe Paul was thinking about the song And I Love Her. That would be odd though, because And I Love Her features bossa nova elements that Yesterday does not. Whatever the source of inspiration for Yesterday, Paul wrote a song that was so good that it was covered by Kogan and many other musicians, 